Self-determination is what's going to separate you from the pattern, is what's going to get you to that goal. It goes beyond it just being a dream, a hope, okay? Having the self-confidence to say, you know what? I don't need any, I don't need to hear, I don't need to, I don't care if anybody believes in me. I believe and truly live it and truly mean it. And being so determined that it doesn't matter how many times you fail, how many times the setbacks happen. Okay, I take the lesson, I keep going. The biggest superpower is within you. You don't need the external validation. You don't need to just hope it happens. I wish it happened. No, the high power gave you everything, gave you all the tools. You just have to look inside yourself. The test and the task is to look inside yourself and to find it. I was so determined and relentless with it, obsessed with it, that I kept going. And I want you guys to do the same. You've been robbed of that self-determination. You've been robbed of your self-confidence. And why? Ask yourself those questions. This, these workouts, this gym, they're gonna slander you just from wanting to get in shape. They're gonna say you're wrong for thinking you, they're gonna say you are wrong for wanting to look good and have confidence in yourself when you look in that mirror and feel good about yourself when you look in that mirror. If you fall into that, it is going to be a slippery slope and you would never get out of it. Look inside yourself. When you look in that mirror, I wanna have positive comments. When you look in that mirror, have self-confidence, have belief. When you look in the mirror, I don't want you to have negative com comments. When you look in the mirror, if you are feeling uncomfortable with what you see, you change it. There was a time I used to be overweight, fat, obese, wearing suspenders, and I hated it. And I tried to mask it by being funny or you know taking the jokes and laughing with the jokes. No, 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 because my confidence was low. My, my esteem was in the gutter. And I know some of you guys are facing that and let's build your self-esteem. Let's build your confidence. Let's build your determination up. There's nothing wrong. You want to be the best. You want to be the greatest version of yourself. So then you're able to pass it on. That's what this is for. I am becoming and transforming in the best version I can for myself. Something. So then I'm able to pass it on to others. And hopefully that will instill a spark and create that spark that you guys will do the same. It's not just the workout. It's not just the external with these workouts. This is a representation of my discipline, my relentlessness. When I look in the mirror, yes, I feel good, I look good, and I can perform even better. It's not just so I could look good in front of the beach, in front of this person. Now, I don't, what? If that was the case, I would have given up a long time ago. So, I want you guys to work on that self-determination. I want you guys to focus on building it and just really locking in and saying, what do you want to do? Who do you want to become? And it doesn't matter how many setbacks. If this is what you want to do, we start now. I don't want you to wait until tomorrow. Because one thing I can tell you, with losing so many people, so, losing so many close people, and then also seeing how so many people just pretty much forgot, how so many people just vanished. I don't wait until tomorrow. I don't wait until next week, next year. What can I do now? How hard can I work right now? too early to this. When you tell me about it's too early, it's too much, I can't, I'm already tuned out. You're, we're not on the same, we're, we're not vibing together. What is too much when it's in pursuit of your dream, when it's in pursuit of who you want to become? I don't care about any of that. And I'm speaking, this, these are the things I want to start showcasing and speaking to all of you guys because I don't have anywhere else to, to talk about these things. I don't have anywhere else to express myself the way I want to express myself. So I express it with, the, with these videos. This is my journal. So we're gonna get this workout going. I believe in you guys. I want you guys to win. We can all win. Let's knock it out. Balance is irrelevant to me. 
I can't have balance when I'm trying to push down all this pain that I'm suffering and dealing with on a 24 seven basis. There's no such thing as balance in my world, right? Because when I'm trying to push down, when I'm trying to remove every workout every time I'm in here, balance is not gonna cut it. So don't ask me about balance. When you are in a pursuit of your goal and a better version, there's no such thing as balance. I don't care. You cannot have balance when you're trying to thrive. You cannot have balance when you're trying to get to that next level. It's just not going to work. Because there's gonna be days, there's gonna be moments when what? You don't wanna do it. There's gonna be moments when you're gonna get tested. There's gonna be moments when it's hurting, it's painful, and you have to push through. And you can't think of having balance when this very test is what can get you over the hump. You can't think of no balance. You can't have balance. When it gets rough, when it gets hard and things get brutal, then you're gonna say to yourself, oh, I need to decompress. Oh, I need a drink, I need to relax. Give me a break, let's get it.